This is the Rokid Max and their Rokid Station that together give you an immersive way to watch shows, movies, or play games on a massive 360 inch OLED display that you can wear. Last year, we checked out Rokid's Air AR glasses, which we had a lot of good things to say about, but this year, they're back with a finessed and simplified product line, and they were also awesome enough to sponsor this video so I can give you an overview of their latest Rokid AR Joy Pack. It's a bundle that includes their new Max AR glasses and their Rokid Station. Together, this kit makes for an incredible personal media experience that really makes it feel like the future is now. For those new to AR augmented reality, Unlike VR, which is this enclosed, isolated experience, AR enhances the world around you by overlaying digital content through a lens or screen. With it, you can multitask, work, watch shows, movies, and even use them as an external display to play games on your consoles. But more on that in a bit. Starting with compatibility, the glasses work directly with devices that support DisplayPort over USB-C or DP Alt mode, such as the Steam Deck, ROG Ally, and similar handhelds, as well as phones. The latter which has a slim list, but it includes the new iPhone 15, and it even takes advantage of the spatial video capture on the Pro version. But if they don't support that method, you can still use them in projection mode, along with an adapter such as one with HDMI, to use them with something like your PS5 or Xbox Series X and S. Now let's get in the box. First up, the Rokid Max. In here we have the user manual and everything else is in this very nice carrying case that's uh, the shape of a very massive pill. It's really well made and wrapped around it we have this large leather strap and then we have these nice zipper pulls to get inside. First we have the glasses which we'll get back to but in here we have this removable divider and underneath we've got a USB-C to angled USB-C cable and an extra pair of silicone nose pads. Both can be stored down here and the tray goes right back on top. And we of course have the glasses, which I'll set aside for now. Next we have the Rokid station and inside the box we have the user manual, a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, and a micro HDMI to USB-C cable to connect it to the glasses. Finally, we have the Rokid Station, which we'll dive into soon, but for those wondering, yes, it does fit inside the Rokid Max case along with the glasses, but just as long as you don't have the cables in here as well, so you'll have to find somewhere else to put these. As for specs, the Rokid Max have two Sony Micro OLED displays, each are HD at 120Hz, they have up to 600 nits of perceived brightness, a 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio, and it has a wide 106% sRGB coverage. As for audio, we have two HD directional speakers on the temples, along with two noise cancelling microphones to use with their AI voice control. Next, we have an enhanced 9 axis sensor, 3 degrees of freedom head tracking, and a 50 degree field of view. All of that, and they only weigh 2.5 ounces. As for the Rokit Station, it's packing a 64 bit, four core ARM CPU with two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. It has Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 5.0, along with a 5,000 milliamp battery to power the glasses and it runs on Android TV. So the Rokid Max are pretty much an upgraded version of last year's Air glasses that improve on just about everything. First impressions, they feel very premium. They have this organic modern design and this unique space blue that I'm a big fan of. Yes, it's made of plastic, but it's high quality, durable, and lightweight, which is impressive when you consider how much tech is packed inside, but also makes sense since they don't have a battery inside. That means they're powered by whatever device they're tethered to. As for the fit, the temples open wide to suit most head sizes, and the nose pads are comfortable and easy to adjust. Above each screen, we have knobs for the six levels of diopter adjustment, but if you need anything past that, you're better off with contact lenses. When you put them on, they feel like thick sunglasses, but once you hook them up and that massive screen pops into view, it's pretty mind-blowing. The screen is slightly transparent so you can still see your surroundings, but for HD, that OLED display is surprisingly sharp, which I guess is because they're right up against your eyes. The picture quality is rich and vibrant, but if you want to get the best out of it, I'd recommend using the blackout cover. As for audio, the speakers on the temples work well, 
but they don't get too loud. So if you want a higher quality sound along with some privacy, you're better off with headphones or earbuds connected to the source device. Now, if you don't have a compatible device, there's the Rokid Station, which is the world's first Google certified Android TV device for AR glasses. After charging it, you just plug in the included USB-C to micro HDMI cable and you're all set. The station has a 5000 milliamp battery, which powers the glasses, and it has all the controls you need to navigate right on the device. Then with Android TV, you have access to streaming services for movies and shows, but you can also connect a controller to it via Bluetooth to play games on the cloud with GeForce Now, which has a ton of titles available, and you can even link your own services to it to get even more. Together, these make for an awesome personal media experience that you can easily take on the go. Finally, there's projection mode where you can use an adapter to connect your devices such as consoles to use the glasses as an external display. With a USB-C to HDMI adapter, you can connect your PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or the Switch in docked mode. Speaking of which, you also have the option of using their Rokid Hub powered adapter so you can connect the Switch without a dock, but it's even better with the Steam Deck which can connect directly to the glasses without an adapter. Regardless of the method, playing your games on this personal 360 inch screen is so fun. It feels like you're in an isolated theater, which personally helps me really focus in on the game. I've been using it mostly with the Nintendo Switch to play through Tears of the Kingdom, which looks great at 1080p, and at this resolution, it's surprisingly sharper than you'd expect. I'm guessing that has to do with the OLEDs being right up against your eye. Even more so with graphically intense titles on the PS5 or Xbox Series X, such as Dead Island 2, where that rich palette of colors just pops and really takes advantage of the quality of those OLEDs. And remember, it goes much further with games that support 120 hertz in HD, which gives you that fast and fluid gaming experience that you can really take advantage of in online multiplayer titles such as Destiny 2 or Halo Infinite, where every millisecond counts. So whether you're someone who frequently travels or if you live in a shared space and can't use up a TV, but like the idea of a wearable giant OLED screen that you can use to watch shows or movies and play your favorite games on, check out Rokid's Joypack. It's easily one of the most fun pieces of tech we've come across. Once again, I want to thank Rokid for both sending it our way as well as sponsoring this episode. On top of that, they were also awesome enough to hook you guys up with a discount, so click the link down in the description below for more on that. This is Sergio I am. Thanks for liking and subscribing and I'll see you for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out. So please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio I am, and I'll see you for the next box.